Hello everyone. Following to the last voices, uh, which we discussed about the instruction how to create a Z bus impedance. Right now we're going to look at a kind of example uh, to see uh, step by step how we can actually, you know, uh, form Z bus for, for this actually, you know, single line diagram, which you can find it here. In this diagram, in this small power system, you know, network, so we have got five different bus parts, which one of those bus parts, we call it reference bus. That's why we put number of zero for that. Uh, following to that, we have bus bar one, bus bar two, bus bar three, and of course, bus bar four. And between each and every bus bar, uh, almost we have, uh, you know, um, you know, a kind of impedance. So let's get started to see how we're going to actually, you know, to create it. So this is that bus. So step one would be, of course, according to the previous instruction, adding a new impedance between a new bus bar and the reference bus bar. So that's why we called it step one, connecting an impedance between bus bar one and reference bus bar. So if this is the case, uh, if you look at the instruction before, we said that, okay, if this is the case and we don't have any kind of original impedance before, which of course we don't have any original impedance here, so the only component over the matrix would be actually the value of this new impedance, which we're going to connect it between a new bus bar and the reference bus bar. Therefore, we are facing or we are writing a new matrix, which the dimension of the matrix is one to one. And uh, the parameter, the only parameter over this matrix would be J 1.25. So which is which is actually the new impedance. This would be step one. So of course, if you have had an original, you know, um, you know, Z bus before, we should add actually this new impedance to that original bus bar. But fortunately, we don't have anything here. So that's why we are creating from the scratch everything. And this would be the first step. In the second step, so we are, we are going actually, you know, forward, we're going to add another impedance between a new bus bar, which let me call it bus bar two, and an old bus bar, which is bus bar one. So I'm talking about J 0.25. If we're going to add that one, according to the instruction, it is saying that, so you have to put actually the Z original, which is the matrix which is coming from here, of course, Z bus one, it would be repeated here. And then you have to add row K and column K. What is the row K and column K? K is going to be one here, the old bus bar. So therefore I'm adding the row and column. Row and column, they are the same. So in Z bus one, yes. So that's why I'm repeating actually this number here. So I'm putting row K here and column K here. And as the new diagonal parameter, so we should put ZKK plus ZB. What is ZKK? Of course, again, we are getting back here and we see that. So we have just one single component and that component is ZKK or Z11. So that's why we put actually, uh, so ZKK, which is J1.25 plus the new impedance here in this step, which is ZB. So therefore 1.25J plus 0.25j it will become j 1.5 which we will put it actually as a new diagonal you know parameter so in a step two so up to here we have got a matrix which is two times two two actually you know or two by two matrix in the next step the case which we're going to do we're going to add a new impedance between bus bar three and bus bar two so therefore this is again dropping in the category two, adding a new impedance between a new bus bar and an old bus bar, because right now bus bar two becoming old bus bar. So this impedance is J0.4. Okay, let's look at to the category two. Category two again is saying that, okay, you have to repeat actually your original bus, which you have here. So this is the original bus, so which we repeated here. So you can find it here, these four parameters. And then row K, and column K should be added. What is row K and what is column K? Of course, this row and this column is related actually to this previous or old bus bar, which we are adding a new impedance to that. Therefore, I'm repeating this row here as a row. So it's becoming third row here in the new bus bar. And this column, I would be actually repeated here as a new column. Following to the instruction in, in category two, so the diagonal parameter, so basically would be summation of ZKK, which previously it was this one, 
plus mu z b, which is j 0 0.4. So if this is the case, so so uh, the new you know basic diagonal parameter would be j 1.9. So let's move to the next step. Next step is adding a new impedance between bus bar four. So sorry, between bus bar three and the reference bus bar. So between bus bar three and the reference bus bar. So if this is the case, we are dropping in category three, if you remember that. And in category three, it was saying that, so okay, you have to actually, you know, you have to follow the instruction in second category, and then you use chrono reduction after that. Okay, let's do that. So I'm using the original bus bar, so which was created here. So I'm repeating the entire the component over the original bus bar, as you can find it here. And then I'm adding actually row K and column K. This, this is row K and this is column K. So because this was actually, this is uh, the K bus bar, bus bar K, which I want to actually, you know, to add a new impedance between that and the reference bus bar, yes? So I, I'm repeating this one so as a new row and I'm repeating this one as a new column. And then I'm putting here ZKK plus ZP. So how much was this ZKK? J1.9, it was ZKK. And right now ZB. ZB here is J1.25. That's why I put it here. So, so it, it, it will create actually a new matrix for us. When this created, right now we have to implement the chrome reduction. So that's why if you look at here, I implemented the chrome reduction. And of course, chrome reduction, so it would be actually, you know, basically reduce uh, uh, the, the number of rows and of course number of the columns. This row reduction uh, can be implemented over row four and column four and if we implement row reduction, so then we will reach actually to this uh, new Z bus, which we can call it Z bus step four. So the next step, we're gonna get a new impedance between bus bar three and bus bar four. So which is J uh, 0 0.2 here. So, okay, this is dropping in the second category. Second category was saying that adding a new impedance between a new bus bar and an old bus bar. So if this is the case, so according to the second category, we have to repeat. So the original Z bus matrix, which we obtained here, of course, and then we are adding row actually row k and column k which which i have already added here because k here is becoming bus bar three yeah so that's why uh, i added row k here and then i repeated column k here so this column would be similar to this and this row would be similar to this and then uh, for the diagonal parameter so we have to use zkk which was this one plus zb which is j 0.2 so Right now, we have got a new bus bar. The next step would be actually, you know, adding a new impedance between two existing bus bar, which was category four, if you remember that. So this uh, new impedance, which is the last impedance in this example, is J0.125. So that's the case. It should be added between bus bar 2 and bus bar 4. Okay, if you look at actually to the instruction, it's say, instruction is saying that at first you use your original bus bar, which previously you calculated. Okay, this is the original bus bar, Z plus 5. So I put it here. And then for the row, we have to actually calculate row J minus row K. And for the new column, we have to calculate column J minus column K. So if this is the case, so we have to calculate it. Okay, let's look at two row J. So row J, J can become actually, you know, uh, two here and K can become actually four here. So um, uh, uh, row J, let's look at to the row J. This is gonna to be row J. And this row should be minus actually this row. And column J minus column K. So it's this gonna to be actually column J. And this is going to be column K. So we calculated everything here. So uh, you see this one. So minus this one. So this one minus this one. This minus this and this minus this. And for the column, this minus this, this minus this, this minus this, and this minus this. If we calculate everything, we are reaching actually to, to Z15, Z25, Z35, Z45 which are equal to Z51, Z52, Z53, and Z54. The only problem
parameter which is left here, so is calculation of Z55. Z55, which is it? So it would be ZB plus Z22 plus Z44 minus 2Z24. So Z22 is ZJJ, Z44 is ZKK, and of course Z24 is ZJK. So, uh, okay, we'll calculate it. We calculated everything here, and we have reached already to this value. So, a J, 0 0.67, 42, 1. So, based on this, we will create a new matrix. So, this would be a new matrix, which the new matrix is 5 by 5 matrix. And right now, we have to implement chrome reduction. This chrome reduction can be implemented over, over actually, you know, uh, the, the fifth row and fifth column. And if we calculate and we conduct actually coron reduction, we will reach actually to this final Z bus value, which is, uh, which is the Z bus of this example.